Hi everybody. The middle section in my reef aquarium sump where I'd like to have the refugium is only about 4 inches wide by 16 inches long. Uh, it doesn't give me a lot of room. I thought about what I'd like to place in there. I thought about Miracle Mud. I thought about uh, uh, Live Rock Rubble. And I also thought about maintenance. I don't want it to be too tedious to uh, keep it clean and maintain it. So after doing a little bit of research I came up with a solution. I'm going to go ahead and use some of my excess Carib Sea Aragalive pink, uh, Fiji pink sand and uh, I'm going to use these Glad or uh, Hillshire Farms either or uh, lunch meat containers and find them easily in your grocery store. Make sandwiches with the contents and these trays will serve the purpose. Now with the lip they're a little bit wider than what I have to work with. However, they do give a little bit. And what I figure I can do is cut the rim off of these trays like so, all the way around carefully around the bend like so and continue all the way around the edge such that you end up having remove the excess and a piece like this here and because of the the pliable, uh, flexible consistency, I can fill these with whatever layer of Miracle Mud or sand for my refugium and set them in that section of my sump end to end and make them fit. This one's already had some sand in it from another project, but you get the general idea. Go ahead and discard the excess lids are needed and these can then be placed gently down within the sump without stirring and creating too much uh, debris or sediment uh, dispersal throughout the water. So let's see how this project works. I think we might have a solution. Right, I've taken those lunch meat plastic uh, containers that I've cut off the edges to and I've set them in this narrow center section of my sump about 16 inches in length and if you exclude the baffles on either side you only have about uh, maybe three and three quarter inches uh, going across I think that's what it measures I was able to get three of these sandwiches in or three of these little plastic containers in end to end and the plan is to load them up with extra reef sand for additional surface for filtration and to make it easy should I choose to not continue with the sand or to swap out to something else Miracle Mud for example or other media I can easily remove the baskets or the containers without stirring up too much sediment and debris. So after removing the plastic containers from the sump I'm going to go ahead and divide the remaining Aragalive reef sand among these three containers. And then I will place them gently into the sump. I've already got a level of sand bed depth that I'm happy with, maybe about an inch and a half in the main display tank. So I'm just trying to make use of the remaining live sand. And I can always add it into the main display should I choose to do so. Now, packing in the sand into each of these three 
little plastic uh, containers here. Try to make it as, as level as possible. It's going to end uh, just a little bit below the lip of each one. And then I'm going to go ahead and place them in the central area of my sump, which I'm actually going to have serve as a refugium. And I'm going to ultimately get some uh, macroalgae in there. I've got an LED light and see how this works. Now it's still a little early for uh, some of this since this is a brand new tank. It's only been full of water less than a week now. But I've done plenty of uh, reading, research, and decided uh, how I wanted to go. And uh, I have to be a little experimental in the hobby. See what works, learn from what others have tried, and from other successes and failures and uh, share my story as well. All right, I've got a little bit of sand remaining in the, uh, in the bag, so I'm gonna add that to my display and uh, maybe have some uh, vanilla shake effect uh, for a little while. But uh, here's how I'm gonna go ahead and set these in, in here. Very carefully, I'm going to allow it to fill up with water. It's not going to stir it up or disturb it too much, but then again, this is unrinsed sand. With the weight of the sand, the container sinks quite easily. I'm going to go and grab the next one. And I'm going to place it in immediately adjacent to the first. And again, because these are flexible, they can squeeze in to conform to the space they have. And uh, here's the last of the three. Get it in that back section there. Kind of squish it in. All right, make sure it's seated all the way down on top of the glass in the bottom. There we go. Now it's stirring up a little bit of cloudiness. That's to be expected. Come back and check on it in a few hours.